All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This is episode 23 of Legacy Loading with a very special guest, uh, a new Houstonian. Oh, dude, I was going to say this. Houstonian, right? Yeah, That's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Ryan Dangler's here. Welcome to Houston, hey, bro. Yeah. Appreciate Welcome, bro. It, guys, man. Yeah. I'm appreciate excited. you coming I'm excited. on. I'm excited to be down here. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. It's gonna be when did so, you make the decision? Yeah. Like when we were like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to do it. Uh, so, I mean, I'd always been thinking about it and uh, I'll get closer to this. Yeah, yeah. you good. <laughs> I'd always kind of been thinking about it because, um, you know, the past four years I've been kind of working with mm -hmm. companies down here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always been a, a potential opportunity for me. But yeah. I was talking to some guys, I was talking to Eubank and um, Nathan French, a bunch mm -hmm. of guys about, you know, hey, we should go get a house or something like that down there. Um, oh shit! You bank, you bank wanted to come down here. Well, he, he was. Well, we we're we we're kind of talking about potentially doing Damn, something that's like that, dope. right? Um, but even my roommates, Kyle, Jacob, all mm -hmm. that, I was like, "Yo, let's go down, go down to Houston, get a house." You know, things kind of fell through and stuff like that. And I was yeah. like, "All right." Eventually, yeah, I had to go. like take things yeah. in my own hands. I'm happy you, yeah. you you committed though. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And uh, last time I was down here for summer shredding, I talked to Weez, mm -hmm. um, that corrupted, and he was like, "Yo, you should like just come down here, do your prep down here." Um, and I was like, I thought about that a little bit. I was like, oh, it's a, you know, it's a good idea. It's mm -hmm. a good idea. I was like, why, why don't I do that? Why not, like, bro? Yeah. You know, school's done. Like I have no obligations up in Ohio mm -hmm. anymore, really. That's it. Uh, yeah. I'm not going back to school in the fall or anything like that. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? Why don't I just go on there Send and, it, and do my prep? So like literally almost right after that, I was yeah. like, okay, I might as well just start looking for a place, see if anyone needs a roommate, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, and ba basically just kind of sent it down here. Okay. How long were yeah. you here for on prep then? Um, well, so it'll be like six more weeks on prep. Okay. Basically. So the show is at the end of September. Mm -hmm. um, so I just got down here like four days ago. Okay. So I literally, yeah. have, I literally have like six and a half weeks since I got down here to yeah. prep down here. Just going hard make, prep, make, content, make content, everything. Yeah. yeah. That's, that was the plan. It was like, I just feel like I'll be able to maybe just lock in better. Yeah. Dial no, in for down sure, here, bro. And just, and just, you know, capture everything mm -hmm. from the rest of the prep. Instead of like, you know, I love Ohio. You know, I lived there all my life. But it's like, I... Um, you know, I, I just doing prep up there. Wouldn't yeah, there's, really, there's a ceiling you reach and it's like, all right, now what? You know, yeah, it wouldn't I feel really like you've done everything else. you possibly could in Ohio. You've done yeah. everything. And exactly, exactly. And being at Ohio State was amazing. Yeah. Bro. Like it was uh, it was so much fun. I based a lot of my, you know, content around mm -hmm. being at school, being a student and everything. Um, but it's like yeah. that that gets like it gets kind of tired after a while doing mm -hmm. that, you know, for four years straight. Yeah, um, yeah we'll get into that for sure. Did, did you feel like you yeah. had to make that kind of content because that was your brand or did you actually genuinely enjoy the well, crossover? I I definitely genuinely enjoyed that for like a long time. I, Cause when I first got into, you know, Ohio state and I was like, my channel was kind of popping off a little bit. I was like, this is a, a unique thing I've never seen anyone do. Like I've never mm -hmm. seen a fitness person who was like both strong, looked pretty good, you know, competed who, you know, went to school and was doing like, I was doing yeah, engineering and science yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'd never really seen that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and push yeah. this as far as I can. And like, you know, freshman year, it like it, it did really well. So I was like, I might as well keep going with mm -hmm. that, you know. For for those who don't know, like give a little introduction to who you are, what you do, and like let's start from the beginning and then we'll we'll go through everything. Yeah, so pretty much I mean I started making YouTube videos back in high school. Um, like my sophomore year. Like we're literally from watching like How old are you right now? Uh twenty two now. Twenty two. So like sophomore year of high school I put up my first YouTube video. Um, just like a little transformation, did a couple of videos like throughout you know sophomore year didn't really yeah. like talk or anything it was just like i was just trying to get introduced yeah. to it right and used to um it. and it was like basically after watching like christian guzman and people like that when i was like 14 years old i i was like really inspired to be like all right i've been doing this thing for a year and a half you know lifting like why don't i make a youtube channel mm -hmm. right and um i didn't really get serious about it until like my senior year of high school um and so then from there i kind of gained some traction once i started like actually posting more um, so senior year of high school had like a really big video that kind of took off. Um, I mean, people may have seen, it was like day in the life of a student athlete. Mm -hmm. Like I definitely saw that. It's got like, yeah, it's got like 2 million <laughs> views. Times. Just like, it wasn't even that good of a video uh -huh. at all. It was just like, um, it's all, yeah, almost 2 million views, you know. That yeah, was 20, like, yeah. what was 16? Uh, so that was 2018 when that video kind of like 18. popped off. Yeah. Dude, um, I was, yeah, I was in college. I, I remember clearly like finding that video coming across it. Cause I was in college at the time and I was, uh, taking bodybuilding kind of serious. Like, yeah like how to meal prep, how to day in the life. And mm -hmm. your video was like always there. It was always like, anytime I looked up anything like college and fitness, you, you was just you. Yeah. Like always like yeah, you and, top. And that, that was another thing. Like I'd never seen anyone do a day in the life of like a high school like yeah. athlete. Mm -hmm. It was always, you know, I saw a bunch of these, mm -hmm. you know, day in the life of a college D1 athlete popping yeah. off and stuff like that. That was a very big thing at the time. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? I'm putting my own little twist on it. Mm -hmm. I was playing high school baseball at the time. And I was like, you know, I'm going to make this a, in life as a student athlete, but I was in high school yeah. and I was doing this, all, all this other stuff, you know, schoolwork was, was tough taking all these AP classes yeah. and stuff like that. But, um, 
that's kind of where like things like really mm-hmm. kind of gained traction from there. Um, Cause before that I had, you know, 2000 subscribers or whatever. Yeah, I was going to say, how long did it go? Yeah. Days? I mean, so like junior, senior year, like I was, people always knew me as like the YouTube guy in high school <laughs> around the yeah. area and stuff. Yeah. Cause like I never knew anyone at the time with a thousand subscribers on YouTube yeah. and like, mm-hmm. Uh, so that was like kind of big for me. It was a different time. I, it, it wasn't that long ago, but like 2018, like 2017, 18, 19 was like, YouTube was different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would be at a, I was at like a basketball game, like warming up, right. We're <coughs> like a playoff game and people knew who I was and they're all chanting steroids and stuff like that <laughs> from, the, from the student section and stuff, you know? And it's like, cause these kids kind of knew who I was like from the area, like mm-hmm. a yeah. guy with like 2000 on YouTube or whatever, but doing something different. That's, yeah. that's yeah. why e- exactly, they want to hate, bro. they hate on it. Exactly. And I mean, I want to say most people were like pretty supportive. Like mm-hmm. I had a lot of friends mm-hmm. who like, thought it was really cool because I was kind of like the guy in high school like there wasn't a lot of people who lifted mm-hmm. when you were 14 15 16 years old so yeah. um like a lot of kids would like literally come up to me in the hallways and be like yeah. yo like how do I how do I put on muscle mass mm-hmm. how do I gain size you know all this stuff and um it was really cool because I was kind of like I was like known as that guy like I played yeah. football but I was known as like oh that's the big guy who yeah. like were you always like that dope. were you always just like the biggest kid in your class and then when you started lifting, it just like exponentially increased I mean, that. I, I would say like I was always like an athlete. So I was always like pretty well rounded. Mm-hmm. Um, but then once I started lifting, like, you know, that's when, you know, I was kind of known for that. Yeah. Then, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, and it's funny looking back at it. It's not like I was that big. Like when, when <laughs> I you, mean, now in comparison, because yeah, <laughs> you've had like, some time to grow. But yeah, I mean, yeah. It, bro, compared to compared to know, like regular high exactly, schoolers and stuff like that. Exactly. I was like, oh, yeah. You're I, a fucking freak. Yeah. Compared to everybody yeah. Else. I was like, that, that, that's why they call you steroids. Steroids. Yeah. <laughs> it's so like weird to see someone. Oh, that guy's my age. Look at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, did you go to Ohio State for sports? No, so I so I played football and that was like my main sport in, in, high, school. in, in high school. Yeah, uh, in high school. Yeah. So I, you know went through the recruiting process a mm-hmm. little bit and I was like, you know what, this isn't really something that I want to do. Like I was really loving fitness and I never had an opportunity to just push like lifting yeah. fitness, all that stuff. It was always like sports first, you yeah. know? So, so did, did, the, did uh, playing football get you into the weightlifting? Is that how that happened? Uh, I'd say, I'd say a little bit. It was like, I think back around like seventh, eighth grade, mm-hmm. I was like, seventh grade. Well, no, <laughs> like oh, seventh grade. I had, I had some people tell me I had like this one guy, he was like a senior in high school or whatever. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know what? I wish I would have started, lifting earlier i wish i would have started like putting myself ahead Mm -hmm. of the game and i was like you know i was thinking about i was like what can i do right now that i can like start bettering myself and you know get myself kind of ahead of the curve right now and i was in like you know seventh grade at the time so then um you know i lifted a little bit stuff like that finally got consistent with it in eighth grade um because i i just i just wanted to do something that i could like i don't like i said put put myself a little bit ahead you know i mean do something nobody else was doing at the time Mm -hmm. um so yeah, I would say I kind of started because of football. Like yeah. everyone wants to like look good, feel good, oh, yeah, know, be oh, strong. Yeah. So they got like that's obviously a big part of it. But um, you know, for football, it, it be, that became kind of a thing. Was mm-hmm. every single year, it was like how much bigger, faster, stronger can I get for football the next year, right? Oh, so yeah. so it was like from freshman to sophomore, you're put on like thirty pounds of yeah. muscle. You're an athlete, from, bro. Yeah, you're, so you're, it was like it was like a challenge for me yeah. every year. Like all right, how much freaking bigger can I get for and next year? I, I think it's cool that you made that transition to bodybuilding because like I know me I played baseball in college and high school once that was over I missed having like something to work for like mm-hmm. there was always like a championship to work for there was always something to like wake up every day and I had a goal and it was power when, when did the powerlifting come into it oh yeah that was before right yeah yeah I mean thought. so like I I always kind of did like the power building like Russ Wool mm-hmm. did you know what I mean like in in high school in my training and stuff like that I was always pretty strong at squat bench and deadlift um mm-hmm. in high school but I started taking it more seriously once I got to college because, uh, you know, you go to the gyms, you meet some kids at the gyms who are in like the powerlifting club and stuff like that. And uh, so I got introduced to like the OSU powerlifting club. Mm-hmm. Um, and so basically from there, me and my roommate, Kyle, we just decided, hey, like, let's start training this way. Let's start training mm-hmm. for a meet. And we just kind of sent it and completely changed up training, focused mostly on, you know, strength. Yeah. And uh, so we did a meet the beginning of my sophomore year of college. Um so that was like the first time I actually did like, mm-hmm. you know, full powerlifting training. Mm-hmm. And, and for a while, like, I feel like I had a, a decent, you know, effect on like the powerlifting community. Yeah, for sure. um, it, It's funny because like I, I went to collegiate, like I'm not even like that strong either, mm-hmm. to be honest. Like you got like Weez, you got Russ Wool, you got these guys. Uh, oh, you're, bro, you're those are the guys you're comparing yourself no, to. No, like, yeah, those, you're strong, those bro. Those are the strongest guys no, in the world. Like you're strong, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm strong, but like I know. I know I'm not like one of the strongest guys in the world, right? So it's just funny when I would go to, like this year, went to Collegiate Nationals or last mm-hmm. year uh, down at LSU in Chicago this year. 
all these kids coming up to me saying like, oh, you, you're the reason I got into powerlifting. Mm -hmm. Like so many kids came up to me and said that I'm like, wow, like that's actually crazy, especially because, um, like I said, I'm not the strongest guy in, in the world. That's why, you know what I mean, yeah. that's why it works. Cause it's relatability, right? Like they're, they're watching, uh, you know, they're watching the content for the social part of it. And then you bring them into the <clears> world <throat> of powerlifting. Whereas yeah. like some of these guys that are untouchable or they just seem like, well, I'd never get there. Like, like no, yeah, no, know, no one's looking at Russ and being like, yeah, I could do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, they look, I'm be like, like him one day. Like, as a student, yeah. and he's doing powerlifting. Yeah. Like, I could maybe I could do that. Exactly. That's, that's yeah. where and that's where I mean, it was kind of like an untapped, yeah. uh, you know, community of people because it was kind of like uh, I knew there was a lot of kids like most mostly out of high school they go to college. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like mm -hmm. a lot of these kids might start getting into lifting or they've been into lifting and stuff like that. So it was like for me being like a representation of that and going to like a big school like Ohio yeah. State. I would say that's like that's like your brand. I feel like you're you're so you're so relatable like to, to the kids in college and high school. Cause they're like, Oh, like he still like goes out, you know, he, he's strong and, and you prove like there's balance. And yeah, I, I know that's how I came across your channel. I, I was at the time in it was like my freshman year of college and uh, yeah, you were just all over my, my uh, like recommended. Cause yeah. it was just like day in the life college. Yeah, athlete. We, we had a meal prep in, in, in the college or like stuff like that. And I was like, Oh dude, he could do it. Like, yeah. I, I could do it too. I, I really tried to, you know, yeah. milk that as much as possible. Just like, being in that college atmosphere, because I just yeah. want to show people like you can do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You don't just have to, because I mean, you know, a lot of these guys, like they do really well and they can drop out of school and they can do really, really well with it. And that's, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I, I kind of wanted to be a representation of like, look, you can, you can do, you can yeah. kind of do it all. Yeah. If, if you're you like the opposite, like drop out and send it. You were like, no, stay and, and send it in yeah. while you're in yeah. school and you can still do all this, 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 and this. That actually yeah. ties directly to a question that I have. So you had already had decent traction getting going into college, right? Yeah. And there had to be a point in college where you knew you could do this social media thing as a career, yeah. but you still stuck it out. You still went to all your classes. You still mm -hmm. did all your things you had to get done. Like, how was that? Like knowing, I mean, did you know, say sophomore year of college that you knew even after you graduated, you want to do the social media thing? Yeah, I mean, I th I think uh, like after the freshman year, like when I came in as a freshman, I was just doing all this stuff for fun. Right. You know what I mean? Right, I, right, I right. came in, I was making YouTube videos. People were like recognizing me on campus mm -hmm. and stuff. I'd never had that before, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I was just doing it for fun. It was a hobby for me, and I, I was I was like, oh, I'm sponsored by Alpha Lead. I'm sponsored mm -hmm. by BPN. All this stuff. And then like later on that year, once like I guess once like money starts coming in a little bit, you're like, wait, maybe I can like push this a little more. And yeah. then that's when I kind of figured out that hey, maybe I can actually do something with this. Did you yeah. did you question like maybe I don't need college at all while you were there? Yeah, I mean there was definitely times where like you're sitting there and you have to do homework and you have to go mm -hmm. to class and stuff like that. And you're like, wow, like I really wish I could be putting this time towards mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. YouTube videos or yeah. building my brand, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um and yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely a lot of times like that. And that's, that's a big reason I switched out of engineering from, mm -hmm. from the beginning. So I'd like did an, a year and a half of engineering and I was sitting there. <laughs> Shit's hard as fuck. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I was sitting there taking these like really tough classes and I was like, man, like Think I could be using this now. time. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm like, I could be using this time like elsewhere. You know what I mean? And it, yeah, it's, it's not that I couldn't do it. Cause like I was, a, I was a smart kid. Like I'm still a smart kid, yeah. but like, um, yeah, I just, I just started kind of feeling like, man, like. I could literally utilize my time a little bit better yeah. and start like pushing towards something I actually want to do. Yeah. I was like, do I want to be an engineer the rest of my life? Like engineering is yeah. a great, great field. Uh, you know, Kyle's in it, like a bunch of my buddies, my, my brother's a chemical engineer, but I was Jeez. like, is, is that, is that what <laughs> I, well, flex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, is that what I really want to do? And I was like, I don't, I don't really think no, so. I, I think you? it's dope. Like you, you went completely against the grain, but like on this pod, I feel like we do preach a lot at, at like how college you're not wasting your time, but it just depends. It, it depends. depends. Yeah, it depends, depends on, like where you're at, and for sure. Obviously, you like. What is that? Oh, is it good? All right. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, no, no. Yeah, agree. like you, it's you're, very you're, situational. Yeah, situational. So, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I did, did um, did uh, any of your? I know I always use a, a giant school, but did any of yeah. your teachers know about you, what you were doing, anything like that? Like, did they give you any? Yeah, I slack or make you work harder because they knew what you were doing, like anything I, like that. I don't think the teachers knew so much, but. Um, just being like around campus and stuff like that. I think um, like, especially like when I went out to the bars and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like a lot of people kind of knew me. And so it's funny the other day I, um, I was moving out of Ohio state and this cop pulls up beside me. He's like, Oh, you still making those videos, man. No way. And like, literally, yeah, literally a cop <laughs> no on campus pulls up and says that. But um, 
but yeah, like I don't think like the teachers are trying to. I mean, they they're gonna treat everyone the same. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a business there. You got sixty thousand people. It's like they're not tapped in. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. In, in my head, I was thinking like <laughs> I was thinking like your teacher, like you dropping engineering, your teacher being like, you're never gonna mount anything. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, no, yeah. I'm already doing this. I'm like, no. I mean, there's, 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 there's people that said that stuff. You know, what yeah. I mean? like in the comments and so like, oh, of course, that's, Come on. that's so dumb of you to drop out of engineering this and that. But um, <laughs> yeah, why that, are you inserting your opinion? Like I don't know, man. Yeah. Like what's so you said most of the most of the feedback you get is generally supportive, right? Yeah, yeah. What I mean, you do even from like high school. Like honestly, like mm -hmm. a lot of my buddies, like you know, I played football, basketball, baseball, and a lot of my buddies were like super, super into it. Like when when that video started kind of blowing up a little bit, the day in the life student athlete one. Like literally, my my baseball teammates would be like, "Yo, man, like you just hit five k subscribers yeah, today. Like, yeah, that's fire. come in, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, like they'd be like, "Oh, dude, ten k subscribers." My mm -hmm. buddy's like, "Yo, we're not having a grad party. We're having a fifteen k <laughs> subscriber party." Like, the balloons, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like some they were they were kind of getting into it. So it was like it was really good to have so, support you know, a lot of support that's like early on, and, and my my parents were super supportive, um, just because they knew I was you know very into fitness. Yeah, I was going to say you know, your, your parents. Uh, how did they find out that like my son is? doing something on social media did you to understand did, did they understand it yeah i mean i think it's hard to understand at first yeah. um because it was like i'm spending all this time like making these videos and stuff like mm -hmm. that and sitting there on a computer editing all day long yeah. it's like um, it looks like you're not doing anything yeah you know it looks like you're you're not doing anything to make money yeah. you like it, better it, yourself you're just kind of like doing it for fun at first you it know doesn't make so sense doesn't make check sense. comes in hey, when exactly. you show your parents the check then like all right yeah. <laughs> i get it now exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So when did the uh who's the first sponsor when did that when did that come about the first sponsor so like uh yeah the first actual sponsor would be alpha Elite. really um yeah Damn, holy shit. yeah so it, it was it was funny because like things happened so quickly like i said where high school things were kind of slow like i had a few thousand subscribers but after the that that big video mm -hmm. um every other video just started doing really yeah. well it was like it was funny how you hit one video yeah. that gets a crazy amount of views then every the next video yeah. got a hundred thousand the yeah, next yeah, video yeah. got fifty thousand you know what i mean <laughs> so it was just like every single video after was uh did well and so i did a prep that summer right after mm -hmm. my my senior high school um and so like halfway through the summer or whatever my my channel was still doing really well i get like a dm from christian and he's <sighs> and he's like yo so he's like yo man like uh i saw your youtube channel you know it's you know really solid really solid stuff or whatever i was like freaking out loves holy YouTube, shit bro. yeah were yeah. you rocking athlete in the videos and stuff uh i see i had like a few athlete things like i so i followed christian since i was 14 years yeah. old right and i like i knew about i like i saw like the video where he announced like Alphalete, you know, mm -hmm. being created right back in like 2015. Like Fire. I was like, a, I was an avid follower, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, so he was like a big, big role model for me. So for him to hit me up and, and say that was, was wow. huge. That's, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. That's so, so awesome. So yeah. then that was it. It was just a DM and it was like, so, well, yeah. So he said, you know, like, you know, he saw the YouTube videos and stuff like that. I was like, oh, you know, it's mm -hmm. insane. Uh, and then a couple weeks later he hits me up again and he's like, you know, go on the Alphalete website, pick out whatever you want. Uh, mm -hmm. it's all, it's all going to free. It's, it's all going to be free. Like you're yeah. not going to pay yeah, for yeah. Alphalete anymore. So he literally said, go on the website and just pick out whatever you want. <laughs> and, uh, so I, I did that, got my Alphalete package. <laughs> um, cause like before that, I didn't really have that much like Alphalete stuff. Cause mm -hmm. it was, you know, it's kind of expensive. I was in high yeah, school. Dude, you were like, fucking yeah. in high school. That, that yeah. was high school when you got hit up. Uh, so yeah, that was right after high school. Damn. Right after high school, so yeah, like during high school, I had like two Sick. two alpha things. Like I always loved the company, but I didn't yeah. have that mm -hmm. much of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden, boom! I had like twenty alpha items that yeah. just came in the mail. It was just mm -hmm. like, okay, this is insane. Um, and then basically got kind of set up from there. We had a an athlete manager at the time. It got me set up on the you know I was like an ambassador athlete mm -hmm. kind of thing at the time. Um, so that's it. It basically went from there, you know. And then did you, did you do like uh like try on hauls on your own and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I mean a little bit. I did like the first, you know, the first try and haul. I got my first yeah. ever Alfley package and it was, it was funny at the time. And you did that, you're on your own. Like, yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I, everything was, everything was on my own. Like I had, um, you know, I had my brother help me with stuff mm -hmm. and help me film videos and stuff like that. But, uh, at the same time, uh, Gymshark was like talking to me too. Um, so I had like, a couple calls with Gymshark and I like, you the know, X. I, I kind of hyped it. <laughs> I hyped it up as like, you know, like Gymshark versus Alfie, yeah, like which, yeah, like, which yeah. one am I going to choose? And it was like this big, Sorry. like 60 minutes decision, Damn. you know, and it was like, so you had, like the two hats on the table and everything. Like, so I mean, <laughs> I, I kind of tried to draw it out a little bit. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah. Like, you know, which one am I going to yeah. choose? But like at the end of the day, I knew I was going with Alfie. Like, cool. Like, That's it, so dope. it was like, I was talking to Christian Guzman. Right. You know yeah. I mean? I, Gymshark, yeah. I was just talking to some, exactly. Some exactly. manager who exactly. like probably didn't really care who I was or mm -hmm. anything, and you know yeah. I didn't really know who they were at all. Right? That's what's so, that's what's special about uh, Alfie. Like a lot of those athletes are Christian. Literally reached out to them. Yeah, you know, almost exactly. Them, you know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's a uh, that's freaking dope. So yeah. so your your content 
has evolved over time, obviously. And now, you, so obviously the, the day in the life college stuff, no longer a thing, yeah. but you've now done, a sh you've done multiple shows, you're yeah. on prep right now. Mm -hmm. What do you think the general direction of, of the channel is gonna go after a show when you're not doing a prep and you're not doing anything in, in school? Like, what do you want your content to be like? Yeah, I mean, like I said, right right now I'm doing this prep and I'm trying to go pro is like the, is like the goal. So I, I'm like, I'm very like goal oriented mm -hmm. with my, with my channel and stuff like that. Like I'll do like a prep for my powerlifting meets mm -hmm. and cause I actually have a powerlifting meet like one month after this, uh, this show too. Dang. So that, that's going to be a bit tough. It's uh, collegiate worlds. So it's like, we're competing for the USA basically cause yeah. Ohio state qualified. Um, so I got to prepare for that then. But you know, after that, it's going to like, it's, it's usually like, what's, what's the next goal? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Am I going to be bulking up for, you know, another, another show? Am I, am I pro? Am I going to try and go, is yeah. it like road to the Olympia at that point? Like, yeah. I, I don't, don't know. You don't know yet. It's yeah. like, you don't even know what my goal will be. Exactly. I, I kind of take things like one step yeah. at a time, like one goal at a time. Like right now, uh, you know, the big goal, the, the main focus of this, this series so far is like, we're trying to go pro, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So that's, that's the goal. It's the only thing I'm focusing on. Everyone's like, Oh, so what happens after the show? This and that, like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really know yet. Well, we're going to play things by ear mm -hmm. and, like uh, you like know, that. so we're do it. what show is it that you're doing? Uh, so this is, I haven't really talked about it too much to okay. be honest, but it's, uh, end of September. It's a, it's a pro qualifier. Cool. Um, N um NPC, NPC. Yes. Yeah. You have to, you have to win the, the overall though. Yeah. You have to actually win oh, the overall. Damn. You got to come in first. Yeah. So there's only one pro card. Give away. Oh, so like one, one pro card <sighs> in each, in each division. So dude, damn. that's fucking sick. It's, uh, so he's going to, nah, you're going to win. You're nah, gonna win. So, you, so you got to go Manifest win your class, that. win the whole thing. And, uh, that's kind of been like the mentality of this, this whole prep is like, all right, I want to come in there. Biggest guy, yeah. meanest guy, blow everybody away. Yeah. And, and, you know, dude, win, you're win already, you already look like insane. And yeah. How I'm, many weeks out are you? Like six weeks out tomorrow. <sighs> so pro. <laughs> You're yeah. way ahead of the what's game. Your, what's your weight right now? How much you weighing in? Uh, so this morning, 222. How tall are you? Fuck. Uh, like 6'1", six, 6'1 one, six, one half. Jeez. Something like that. But um, it, it's funny because I've been leaning out so quickly this time. Yeah. Uh, Alex Toplin, literally, mm -hmm. he's like, bro, you need to have a refeed meal. Right? <laughs> yeah, so I saw that. 5,000 calories? Dude, he gives, me, yeah, he gives me a refeed meal on uh, Sunday. We went and got in and out. Mm -hmm you know, had 2000 calorie females. So it was like a 5,000 calorie day. Yeah. And then boom, all of a sudden, for some reason, the past couple of days, weight dropped significantly again. And Alex is like, all right, bro, go get another refeed meal. So oh, I went, shit. had a 2,500 calorie refeed meal. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw your stories. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, why are you eating so much? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, he's on prep. That's how James was too. Dude. James, James was hit with refeeds like yeah. a week and a half out, two weeks out yeah. because he bro, was just, like, you're already yeah, right. pretty fucking Cause, shredded cause right now. You don't want to be losing like too much mass either. Yeah. Right? Like, you don't want to lean out. You start too burning. Quickly. You start burning like muscle and yeah. like all the good also, stuff. Yeah. It's also different because you're natural. So like, there's a lot yeah. of things that you can't you can't do. Yeah, I think I think a lot of like you know enhanced athletes will like kind of like build up into mm -hmm. their prep and then kind of then they'll cut down. Like Alex Toplin, like he literally ended up being like the same weight that he started at. Yeah, exactly. At the end exactly. of his prep, you know what I mean? Right. For me, that's that's going to be very very yeah. difficult to do. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know crazy. how much mass I can put on during, <laughs> yeah, during this prep. Weeks, yeah. right. You know, so. Um, yeah, so we're trying to hold on to as much yeah. as possible. So keep keeping food high is mm -hmm. I think extremely important. Like not leaning out too quick, yeah. guiding yourself into the ground too quick, you know, so you can stay fuller and actually look yeah. big and not You're look crazy, not bro. You're looking insane. Yeah. I'm I'm excited for it, man. I'm really excited. Holy shit, bro. So um, if you got your pro card, is that something that you think you'd want to pursue like like as a career of being a professional bodybuilder? I mean, obviously there's not like there's not like a ton of money in it unless you're at the yeah. top level obviously you have your other sources but like is that something that you could see like dedicating five years of your life to i know you're saying you like to live yeah. in, the, in the present moment but like that's a very serious thought like yeah i think i think that's a that's a really good like consideration um after this i mean like that's obviously the goal right now mm -hmm. but um you know after that like i said it it, it could be something where i just like kind of take off bodybuilding for a little while and just like mm -hmm. be healthy li yeah. you know live and just like have fun and stuff like that but yeah. Um, if things go well and I just like have that, like that fire mm -hmm. under me, I'm like, maybe I'll just, I'll just want to keep on going with it. Yeah. And like, and like, uh, like James just got his, his pro card and he's, mm -hmm. he's, you know, probably going to try and want to go to the Olympia in the next like couple of years. Right. Yeah, Cause so you kind of like, uh, you like surpass your expectations for yourself and you're like, wait, fuck it. Like you're kind of like, what's, what's, what's what else can we do? Like, yeah, exactly. we do this. Like let's, let's do go it. try something that's even that's harder. Do an Ironman. Exactly. Yeah. Do an Ironman. Do, Iron yeah. <laughs> do it all. Bro. That's what Nathan told me. He's like, yeah. dude, just do an Ironman. Man. Bodybuilder, like, powerlifter, yeah. Ironman. What, what made you want to, what made you want to do it? Uh, cause it's just, it's different. And yeah. it's like, it's a, it's, a, yeah. it's an insane it's thing to do. And that exactly like you said, if I can do it, and mm -hmm. I think it's crazy now when I get that done. It's like, yeah. all right, well then what's, what's yeah. crazy. What's like a bigger what's, thing than Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. like, yeah. And that's, that's the whole mentality from the start. It's like, yeah, that's crazy. Or you think it is, but then mm -hmm. you do it. And it's like, all right, 
uh, yeah. than, than what like uh, like I don't even know. I don't yeah. even know right now because yeah. I gotta do it. But yeah. once I do it, I'm gonna be like shit. Well, I I want to do a bodybuilding show. I did it. Yeah, you did a bodybuilding yeah. class. Yeah, I want to do an Ironman. I just fucking did it. I mm -hmm. did it in three months. I don't even know. That's yeah, the mentality. Like the, you got to find the next thing. Like, like the half marathon I did back in January, like literally before that, I'd never run more than two miles. <laughs> right, like right. legitimately never run right. more than yeah. two miles. Uh, so everything past that was foreign to me. Exactly. You know what I mean? I had exactly. no idea. You don't even think about it. It's not I, even a consideration. Yeah, I had no idea how I was going to feel. Right. I was like, All right, I'm just going to try it. And guess what? Like once I did it, I was like, yeah, that was hard. That was a good challenge. Yeah. But yeah. Um, but I was like, I did it. I know I can yeah, do let's it. Do, now. Let's do a full marathon. Like, yeah, it's like yeah. what? What else can I do? Like mm -hmm. I, I never thought I could run distance in my life. I played football and did, mm -hmm. you know, we were mm -hmm. in sprints. So you sprint for ten seconds and mm -hmm. or four seconds, the play's over, right? Yeah. I never thought like, oh, I could go out, run thirteen miles yeah. on a on a random yeah. given day. That's so cool. You're an athlete. I feel bro. like, dude, no, I feel like, I feel like all the BPN guys. I feel like you guys are all just like athletes. Like, yeah, you're just freaks Is of nature. Is there something though? Like, yeah. I think there's something inherent about like when you're a young man, like you want to just see what you're physically capable yeah. of in every way. And mm -hmm. I think that that's just like something that I would encourage everyone to do. Like you don't have to go and bodybuild. You don't have to go and sign up for the craziest race, but like push your limits physically. Yeah. Like, cause again, you, I'm sure you've learned so much about yourself mentally from the physical challenges. Yeah. That's something that we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I think that just like, there's something in our nature wanting to go and push the, push the limits, figure yeah. out what you can doing, do. Doing a show is, is dope. Cause you mm -hmm. literally take yourself to your final form. Like yeah. this is like physically my final form, but on that journey is when you grow mentally in ways you never even knew you, you, you could, you learn you know, discipline, you learn about yeah. yourself. That's why do a show. If you grow the gym, do a fucking show. <laughs> you, you know, you know it's, <laughs> it's a good experience. It's a really good experience. The whole process. Yeah. yeah the process, the journey. What, what I'm thinking about right now is like, so you did football, you did baseball, yeah. you did baseball, I did mm -hmm. soccer. Yeah. I think when you're growing up, you are doing all these team sports and things, but then like, as you get older, powerlifting, bodybuilding, mm -hmm. a race, an Ironman, like these are all individual, individual athletic yeah. endeavors. Like, yeah. I think that's so interesting that like, that's sort of where it all sort of funnels to like, yeah. what, do you, what do you think? Like, what do you think about that? Like, are there, do you think that like social media in a way is like that team sport kind of? Mm. I mean, I, I think, I think honestly, yeah, it's just, it's just tough. Like once, once high school's over, once college is over, you're not going to have that same uh, team aspect as you once had, like, mm -hmm. like all the college football or like the high school football coaches say, like once, you know, once you take the pads off, once it's done, like you can't go back and relive that same, that same thing. again. so I think everybody, yeah. they, they want to still be competitive. Um, and like you said, so you end up doing lifting, you end up doing, I mean, you could be a runner, do marathons, anything, literally anything. you just, but yeah. you, you want to find ways to like still push yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, and cause like once that whole, you know, team sports kind of thing is done, yeah. like, it, yeah, at some, at some point, like even if you play college ball or play NFL, yeah. it's like, uh, you know, it's going to be done at some point. Yeah, When you're you know young, I mean? it's like, you're creating, you're building that mindset. And then now we're older and we, that competitive nature of like that we built up our whole life, we put it into the things we do now. Like even like right. me, like photography, like right. I, tackle a photo shoot the same way of like going to a game like or that like mindset at, at like, captain's practice you know yeah. your leading practice like that's how you lead your photo shoots kind exactly of. were yeah. you like the captain growing up like the yeah i mean teams? I, I was in football as captain uh junior and senior yeah. year i see um, we spoke about this in the podcast but that but to, to be honest like yeah i was i was a really good like leader by example mm -hmm. but i i almost wish that i could have been like a better like vocal leader better mm -hmm. just like i don't know because there's a lot of guys in the team like I, I really tried to help them out and stuff like that and had guys lifting with me in the off season mm -hmm. and like pushing everybody and stuff like that but um like looking back at it like there's always things you wish you could have done yeah. better but i was like you know like back in high school and stuff wish i, I could have just been like an overall better captain mm -hmm. better leader like i think you know, could have taken things even further yeah. with, with the team, with me, like all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that we, we spoke in like a, a previous podcast about how like back in high school and stuff, those team captains, like all those guys now who were captains back in the day are like powerful individuals in whatever field they're in, you know what I'm saying? Whatever yeah. direction their life took them, they're still that leader. Like, cause yeah. that mindset stays with you. Like if you're a leader, when you're young, you're going to still have that mindset when you're older, no matter where you end up mm -hmm. and uh yeah and you're that, a perfect example of that yeah that's that's kind of how i wanted to be like in in college how i want to be mm -hmm. now is like uh i wanted to be that like that figure for um you know college you know mm -hmm. college students who like want to go lift want to get stronger yeah. want to get bigger uh kids who like literally want to get into powerlifting or want to mm -hmm. get into bodybuilding stuff like that i wanted yeah. to be like that like that figure that representation that people could like look up to yeah and, you are uh, for sure bro yeah like i i just always like I wanted to kind of like be someone, be mm. someone of importance a little bit that could, you know, help people out. So whether that's like you said, <clears throat> during college, mm -hmm. after college now, it's like, 
you know, what can I do to, to continue being like a, a good leader for, yeah. do you consider you yourself know? a influencer? I mean, I, I guess by, by, what def- the word by definition, yeah. um, I mean, I don't, I don't really think I'm like an influencer. I'm just mm-hmm. like, I'm just out here doing my thing, having fun. You know what I mean? Just like, honestly, just trying to like inspire kids. Yeah. Like, like I said, at the powerlifting meet when it's like these kids coming up to me, like, Oh, you got me into powerlifting. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, that's actually crazy that I had such an impact yeah. to, um, to get someone into something like that. And it's, it's crazy when I talk to even like I was talking to Jacob Bergen or like riser, um, these guys were like, they saw my videos back in the day. Like, just like you mm-hmm. said, like uh, back in like 2018, 2017 and stuff like that. Um, and like Bergen's like, oh yeah, you're like, you're like a big reason. Like I kind of got into this even like, or into this, crazy. into this, uh, you know, more into the fitness, social media stuff. And it's, mm-hmm. it's crazy to see um, these guys kind of killing it now too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like to, yeah. to know that like I had like a, a like even like a small effect yeah. on them so that they can have some success yeah. off that. You know, it's like, um, because I'm not like insanely crazy successful or whatever, but like, it's just cool. Uh, especially that I've been, been in this thing for like a while, you know, four or five, six years I've been doing okay. this. I, I, dude, um, I consider you like OG in the new era, like hundred yeah. percent. Like you came up during that same time as like uh, the Gymshark guys, yeah. like James, Lex Little, all them. So to me, you're, you're like an OG of the, the new era of like fitness YouTubers and influencers and all that yeah. without a doubt. Like you, you, you started that whole like day in the life of a, of a young guy just yeah because I've seen, I've seen a lot of people yeah. come up like since i've been kind of mm-hmm. in this like i back when i was uh you know back when i was first starting this and everything i was doing collabs with like ryan casey from mm-hmm. gym shark like yeah bro yeah. him like a bunch of other guys you know that maybe aren't doing as much anymore as they mm-hmm. used to and there's a lot of new guys that came up too and it's yeah. like i've seen like uh i've seen a little bit of everything yeah, you know no, I mean? it's, for sure, it's, bro. it's cool to see those guys come up like ever since like covid a lot of people got on tiktok and stuff like that mm-hmm. did you do um, that did you do tiktok i never i never got too much into tiktok i i that's something i've always wanted to do mm-hmm. um and kind of get more into because i know it's like obviously a huge market and stuff mm-hmm. like that but even like like didn't like sush kind of started on tiktok and then yeah. kind of grew everything from there like or you know marco kind of started there yeah too, you did like, like the you did like the reverse route you you kind of got big on youtube yeah. first yeah, and then you there started wasn't really tiktok back yeah. when back when i was really starting things so youtube was like my main platform mm-hmm. like when like i said when christian dm'd me on instagram i had like 12k on instagram like yeah. it, it wasn't yeah. it wasn't really a thing like i didn't even post on instagram mm-hmm. you know what I, mean? I did i did youtube videos like i was a youtuber yeah. um so that's kind of you know what i what i got known for and that's so you know i want to continue doing mm-hmm. that as as long as i can but um, that's, that's what I started on. I yeah. think, I think that was a, it was an important step for me oh, for to sure. like, to push YouTube, like start on YouTube and like establish myself mm-hmm. as that. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know that's what okay. people are shooting for even now. Like they use yeah. other platforms to launch into that yeah. YouTube space. Oh, yeah. What's your, what's your sort of take on the state of the fitness influencing industry right now? Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, like, like the fact where, like where people are located, what people are doing, what platforms people are using, like it, cause it's very different than when you started and it's very different than it was five years ago. Like, do you think yeah. it's heading in a, a positive direction? Do you think that there's improvements to be made? Do you think you're feeling out of touch with some of the younger audience? Like, what do you think about that? Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's definitely headed in a, in a, in a positive way. We were just talking about this uh, yesterday, how um, I think with, you know, TikTok and all this stuff going on, you know, TikTok's huge right now. Um, we were saying that like, in order to, to build like a solid like audience from that, um, you just really need to show like your personality. Um, so the, these guys, like I was talking to Weez about this. I was like, you know, I could post a video on TikTok mm-hmm. and it could blow up, get, you know, millions of views. But if, if it's just me like lifting or just me like looking good or whatever, mm-hmm. um, it's not going to translate to really anything. You yeah. know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people are blowing up on TikTok. A lot of people are, you know, even Instagram and stuff like that blow up on Instagram. But like, I feel like the ones that do really well, the ones mm-hmm. that are able to showcase, you know, your personality and yeah. showcase like, how can, how can you actually help people with, with what you're doing? Not just, I mean, even like I was saying, Weez has done a good job mm-hmm. of, he's a strong, strong dude. Um, but he's also like able to show his personality yeah. and show like what makes him unique. Um, apart from, you know, yeah. like I was saying, like some of the, you, there's some of these strongest guys in the world that you probably never even heard of. Never heard cause, their voice. Cause, yeah. Cause, cause <laughs> yeah, they yeah. don't, they don't showcase that on, you know, mm-hmm. showcase their, yeah. their personality. No, on. It's good that it's good that you realize that, mm-hmm. you know, cause you could have 600 K on IG, you know, but I'd rather have 1500 YouTube subscribers. Yeah. Cause that means 1500 people are actually sitting down and listening to me talk and, and absorbing what I yeah. say and yeah. learning and getting motivated and entertained. But that I know what you mean by like the whole, 
everyone's blowing up quick yeah but they don't actually have any influence they're not actually yeah. like like the ones that translate over from like a tiktok yeah, or from exactly. you know or from an instagram to a youtuber mm-hmm. are people who like are able to showcase like yeah. who they are what makes them different like mm-hmm. how they're able to help people and stuff like that and just like showing that personality yeah. you know I mean, so at the end of the day i think no you're uh, doing it you're doing it the right way bro seriously yeah. you're fucking killing it yeah so like i'm i'm grateful i started on youtube first mm-hmm. yeah um and i think that always helped but like i said trying yeah. to try to keep on pushing that as much as I can. What advice do you have for someone who's trying to get started doing YouTube and fitness and all that? Um, I, I always kind of say, you know, similar to what I was just saying now, is just like literally, you know, figure out what kind of makes you different, what's going to separate you from everyone. Cause you know, everyone tries to do like the same kind of things, you know, everyone tries to, you know, follow the trends and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of the people end up being like almost exactly the same on, mm-hmm. on social yeah. media and stuff, but yeah. um, you know, figure out like what's going to separate you from everyone. Like, yeah. Uh, for me, like I said, it was, it was like, at first I was lifting my, my, my home gym basement, all this stuff. And I was in high school doing these day in the lives. And then, you know, being a college student doing, you know, fitness Mm -hmm. and doing powerlifting and doing, you know, schoolwork, all this stuff. I was just like, you know, what's, what's different? What's something that Mm -hmm. no one's ever seen before? You know, that's, I think that's what people got to think about is like, am, am I going to show something unique that people Mm -hmm. haven't seen before? And, um, like I said, a lot of these people on TikTok, like when the whole COVID thing happened, people were blowing up. Like people were, the ones that made it out, like Sush and, yeah. and Marco and everyone and, and Nathan French and stuff like that, um, you know, they showcase something different. Yeah. Like they, how, they, how, they're, how they're unique, you know. And they, they capitalized off that time. Yeah. Instead of like sitting around doing nothing, they were like, no, what, fuck it, I'm going to do something. And, yeah. and it worked out. What were you doing during that time? During like COVID? Were you uh, in school? Yeah, so it was like everything transitioned to like online school, yeah. you know? So it was like, we More literally content. Yeah. So yeah. I was, I was down in Houston um, and I was down in Houston, like sh- doing some photo shoots and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden they're like, boom, like no more school. Yeah. So I fly home. We had to move everything out of our dorms right away. Um, oh, so legitimately, yeah, March everything out of the dorms and we were doing online school for the next like two months or whatever. So would you say that was a good time for you? Like, did you end up actually like using that time to, to benefit your career or? Yeah. I mean, so at the time I was like heavy, heavy into powerlifting. So, mm-hmm. For me, it was good because I had a whole home gym already set up and everything. Um, and me and my dad built a deadlift platform in the basement. Sick. And um, it was it was good for me because it was like every day it was just like get a little bit of schoolwork done, mm-hmm. have the boys over. We'd train in the basement, <laughs> just go crazy. You know what I mean? So it was a, a good time of growth for that, mm-hmm. um, especially. And yeah, I mean, definitely it, it was it was good growth for like for everything a little bit. But a reset. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like a lot of people didn't have access to like gyms and mm-hmm. stuff. Like that. So I was very like, I was very grateful. Like I had that, and it was yeah. like, I felt like I was kind of pushing myself ahead a little bit because yeah, yeah. you know, even during this time, I was like, okay, I can Fuck still, yeah. I can still train with this thing. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. But, so like for the most part, from the outside looking in, people see you as you know the fitness guy, the influencer guy, the guy that does like the college day in the life stuff. Like if you were to like get a couple layers deeper, what are like some of the some of the values that you've been you know, have instilled in you from a young age that you think really benefit your career and everything moving forward. Like what's something like you said that separates you other than the physical, um, that's led to your success. Would you say, uh, yeah, I mean, I think, um, like I said, just, just trying to be like well-rounded with, with everything. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, um, I started getting into lifting and and having success and stuff like that. And then, you know, disregarded school and disregarded Mm -hmm. like uh, relationships and stuff like that. Like I, like when I first went to Ohio state, like the priority for me was like, like I didn't even sleep very much at all the first semester. Like I, I literally went to bed at 2 AM every night and got up at 7 AM for like my 8 AM classes. Cause I wanted to be able to do everything with mm-hmm. me. I wanted to like, uh, to, to grow and build it a little bit of everything. So it was like, I wanted to do well in my classes first off, yeah. you know? So, um, and then I wanted to do well at lifting. I wanted to make my videos like once, you know, I also wanted to like have those relationships with, you know, my friends and stuff mm-hmm. like that at Ohio state. Cause when you first go to a new place or whatever, like say you yeah. move to Houston or you go to college, like you want to be able to like literally just grow with those people, right? You don't want to get left behind. You want to mm-hmm. go out, connect with people and stuff. Like that. So that was a big thing. Um, and I would just, I would stay up from like midnight to 2am working on yeah. like my programs and like extra stuff, you know? So I, I, I kind of mm-hmm. wanted to make time for everything. So I think just, you know, making sure you're like pushing yourself in a lot of different directions. Yeah, time management. Yeah. Like pushing yourself in a lot of different <laughs> directions. So then you can figure out at the end of the day, like where is the best opportunity for you? Yeah, like, what, what, what advice do you have for like how to prioritize like something like that? You want to do like four different things at once. Mm-hmm. So how did you, how did you, 
how'd you like scale? Like what's, what's most important and what's, what's least important right now where I'm at? Yeah, I think, um, I think honestly, just kind of like setting aside like certain times for things. Like I said, mm-hmm. like midnight was my time to like, okay, I'm going to grind out some programs. I'm going to do some yeah, online yeah. coaching stuff and get better at that. You know, during the day, like I'd set aside time. Okay. We're gonna go play basketball with the, with the guys and mm-hmm. you know, get that into, cause I think that's super important. You can't just like work yeah. your entire day no, yeah. and just not enjoy anything either. So managing your time. I think, yeah. I think you also over time figure out where your priorities lie just based on what you, what things you actually mm-hmm. want to do. You know what I'm saying? So he was yeah. staying up till 2 AM editing his videos and stuff. Clearly that was a priority over yeah. sleep, for example, yeah. or over going out or whatever, whatever it may have been. Oh, so I, like, I still went out and everything too, man. Yeah. All right, that so, was, so, 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 there you so that go. was, that well, was like a big thing for me too. Was like, so that I, was I wanted to make too. sure that like, you know, even when I, I go out every weekend, mm-hmm. even freshman year, it's like Friday, Saturday, um, I still want to go out. I didn't want to miss out on those opportunities, right? Yeah. I'm at Ohio State. I'm at a big school. It's my first year, first opportunity to do this. I was mm-hmm. like, I like I said, I wanted to get myself out there as much as possible. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's it's good going out and meeting more people when you're at the bars, and mm-hmm. uh, especially Facts. being being like yeah, like a, a YouTuber and stuff on campus. Yeah. It was like yeah. socializing. It, yeah, exactly. Yes. It, okay. it was it was really good. So then, even mm-hmm. on those days though, it's like I'd make sure next morning I was up and ready to hit a workout then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was like, it, it didn't stop. I always wanted to be kind of doing something that was going to, you know, not that going out and drinking is like, you know, great for growth, but it's like great for relationships and <laughs> yeah. connecting and building and stuff like that. We, you know we haven't so, talked about that yeah. in, in a while, but like, no, we're, we're hundred percent on the same page. Yeah. Like, uh, social like socialization going out and and meeting people outside of a work setting for example is incredibly important for relationship mm-hmm. building yeah. and sometimes you had to like i remember even back in college i remember i would <laughs> i would not do work when the assignment was due because i got invited out to go and do something with people that like i wanted to build relationships yeah. with and people that i respected and people that i liked and like that was a sacrifice but also at the end of the day like that relationship was so much more valuable than Yep. The, the the paper i don't remember what fucking paper it was to be honest oh, and it's I literally what i got in that class yeah. like what's more important is like going out and doing those it's things. just as important i think going like going out and, and socializing mm-hmm. and networking and meeting yeah. people i'd say more it's important. just a, it, yeah if not more important than actually sitting down and doing the work because the work's not going to matter if you're not a person that people like and respect and they yeah. they know mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah because a lot of people are so <laughs> against that they're like oh you got to be grinding 24 7 I, I can never Fuck have a no, drink bro. i can never <laughs> no. do this or that like well you prioritize you make time for mm-hmm. it you finish everything you need to finish before then yeah. then you can go out enjoy yourself and like actually like you said yeah. build those relationships yeah, like and we, stuff dude out here we have fun like we go out like, like pretty much all the time exactly but like yeah. guess what like during the day i did two, two photo shoots i yeah. edited like I got my work done. Yeah. So you, I'm going to go out and enjoy myself. You get, you get your work done and then you can yeah, go. From the outside looking in though, it's like, ah, they're out every weekend. They're fucking around. But yeah. like, no, I'm getting my shit done. And then I'm also enjoying myself because yeah. that time that I'm out socializing helps me mentally and yeah. helps me regroup and not yeah. be so focused on work. You know? yeah. and, and I didn't show like too much of that stuff like freshman, sophomore year. I was like underage, obviously. <laughs> um, so I, I didn't, I didn't show too, too much of that stuff, but you know, we, we had our fun, man. We had a lot yeah. of fun. That's uh, good, bro. That's good. Yeah. I had some really good roommates at the time. And like my, my buddy Kyle was my roommate for like mm-hmm. two years and uh, we had, we had so much fun, man. Like the dorm life was insane. Like we, yeah. you know, it, it was, I it was a dorm. great time. We, we had the, dorm life. The, uh, yeah. the dining halls right uh-huh. there, man. Oh, man. Like, Dude, I wish I, f- I wish I filmed shit we, that we did in college, man. It's just every weekend, so there's fun, just bro. funny shit going on. Oh, and, yeah. And, like and, the and there's there's especially. stuff that I wish I would have filmed even more. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you know, like I did some dining hall, like food challenges yeah, and see, stuff like that. Yeah, bro. So cool. And I'm like, there's like, there's just so many like good opportunities yeah. and stuff. Like I just didn't want to miss out on yeah. it. You know what yeah. I mean? I was like, I just want to like push this as far as I yeah. could. Hey, if I, you're in college, fucking document that shit. Yeah. I had never seen it before. So I was like, I was like, I want to, I want to push myself and see how many different video ideas and stuff. We did a Halloween video in the campus gym, Mm -hmm. you know, Ohio state campus, (laughs) all the dumbbells have Ohio state logo on them, Uh everything. And, uh, we all dressed up in our Halloween costumes, had a crazy lift, funny, super funny videos. It was great. Yeah. We had a ton of like, just really, really solid video ideas and stuff. That's dope, bro. How did you, uh, you and Kyle meet? Was he just the guy that was assigned to your dorm or were you friends before that? Yeah. So he, he lived right across the hall from me freshman year. Um, just, he was just a stranger. He just, he just happened to live there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because I didn't know who he was at all before that. And, uh, he like lives 15 minutes away from me at at my, uh, my parents' house, literally 15 minutes away, grew up 15 minutes away. So like one city over, which is crazy. But um, yeah, he lived across the hall from me and it was one of those things where like freshman year, everyone just leaves their doors open. Mm-hmm. Everyone's yeah. kind of like going in yeah. and out, like, mm-hmm. you know, trying to meet everyone. Right. Um, and yeah, everyone got super, like along super well. Yeah. And I kind of got him into the gym. 
Um, oh, really? So I kind of like, kind of like took him under my wing a little bit, got him into the gym. So he started coming with me training like every wow. day. So was he like on social media at all at the time? Like, did he have a presence? No, no, not at really? all. No. So like, even like my sophomore year when like uh, things were doing really, really well for me, like he had, I remember like celebrating his first like 2000 followers on like IG wow. and stuff like that. And he, he was like, oh, I'm starting to post a little more. Yeah. Um, so it's really crazy because uh, like my buddy Jacob, who I live with this past year too, he mm -hmm. was like, he's like, isn't it funny how like you just happen to live across the hall from the best deadlifter <laughs> in the 66 kg class, like in the country, basically. And like, literally like he's, he's yeah. probably got the strongest deadlift like in yeah. the country. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to take credit for that, but I, I did, no, <laughs> I, no, did, I did kind of, I did yeah, kind of yeah. get him into the gym a little bit and put him uh, on, you know, yeah. and that's, that's, I'm sure he's grateful for like, he, he lets yeah. you know, like, yo, do you really help me out so much? Yeah. Like, we, yeah. we helped each other out a lot. Like we helped both of each other. Yeah, out, hell yeah, out. Bro. So it was, it was like mutually beneficial. And I lived with him sophomore year and we, like I said, we did our first power swimming together. We yeah. did, collegiate nationals together the past two years and it was that's so awesome bro. you know we, we kind of grew together and mm -hmm. built together so it was, it was really great but that's great do bro. you think you guys are gonna maybe do business together in the future start some i mean i don't know man he's he's working full-time up in ohio now so I, i'm trying to get him to come down here yeah you know do something but just tell him to come for like a couple of weeks and yeah. they're the flip the switch always oh, flips yeah. he just that's got a he just he just got his job right he just started working yeah. full-time literally so but it's a great fucking job yeah you know? I mean, he's doing civil, civil engineering i mean he knows the the path he yeah. kind of wants to go with and stuff like that but um it'd be great to have him down yeah, here it's tough because like do. you said before like that's a great job he's it's, fucking, it's, it's he's, a great he's job probably killing it. yeah things are kind of set up for him he's he's got a mm -hmm. good job right right away and it's like but <laughs> is that something you want to wake up and do every day yeah that's the thing he might that's he a, might, yeah, that's exactly. That's that's he, he seems to like it. He yeah. seems like yeah. me, me personally. If exactly. I had to go do engineering every day, I <laughs> yeah. probably probably wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. I couldn't see myself doing anything anything different. Yeah, that's where like passion yeah. and 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 money yeah. comes into play. Like, yeah. yeah, obviously, I'm sure he's fucking. I'm happy for him. He's probably got a great salary, great everything. Loves the job, but me personally, like, I chose happiness over. I had yeah. a good job too back home, but like, it's, I, it's I hard. Chose, to, it's hard to give that up, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? I chose, it's, it's really hard yeah. to say. Okay, I'm just gonna give up. All the, like, you know, mm -hmm. you have a job paying $150,000 right. or Security. whatever. And it, it, it's hard to just be like, oh, I'm going to mm -hmm. give that up. Go do my own thing. Yeah. And try and make that yeah. work. And it, it's a sacrifice, but yeah. everyone's in a different situation too. Like that's true. It's easier to tell someone, ah, oh, quit your job, bro. Chase your dreams. Like, yeah. no, hold up. Like people, it's, I, it's situational, obviously. But uh, like me and you, I'm sure we, we were the same way. Like I, I had a good job, but I chose passion. You know, yeah. Like and I then, said, I, I could have gone through engineering, yeah. did engineering, and got that done. But I would have had to put YouTube on the back burner. Mm -hmm. I would have had to put like everything I was kind of working towards. And it was it was at a time where like things were going really well yeah. with social media, and I was like, well, I, I can't I can't mm -hmm. lose this flow right now. You know what I mean? I just I yeah. just couldn't. But it's like I still finished, got my degree in yeah. uh, in marketing. So oh, yeah. I switched you got that. You got that forever. Yeah, yeah. You know? and, and so I got the degree. That's good. It, it's funny because uh, in engineering they always say like the business guys go out every night of the week and everything. <laughs> And some of them do, man. They'll go out Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday. You know, there's there's a night for everything. He's yeah. still working. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah, some people are some people are able to do that though. Some people are in, like able to go and yeah. like not study I as much. That. that wasn't me, bro. Like if yeah. I wanted to, if I wanted to get an A on a paper, I like I had to lock in a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But yeah. some people are just naturally just gifted in studying yeah. and, and retaining information. And so there's this girl that I knew that graduated top of our class, but she would get fucking, she would fucking black out every yeah, night. Yeah. Every, like oh, literally yeah. black out and then you take a test the next day <laughs> yeah. and ace that shit. I'm like, whoa, like yeah. that's fucking dope. Like, it's happy like, for you. Yeah. yeah like, that's great. Good shit. Yeah. yeah. But every, yeah, everyone's, everyone's a little bit inclined in different directions. So mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Fucking college, man. I, we, I, I don't know what I was talking about. I joked around. I was like, oh, I feel like Dangler was in college for like 10 years. Yeah, yeah. It, feel, it feels <laughs> like, it feels right like you were in college it forever. It bro. feels like it, but also flies by, man. Yeah. It really flies by. I'm like, dang, like I'm 22 already. I'm getting old. Like I remember yeah. back in the day, like when everyone's like, oh, you're 18. You're so young. You all this uh -huh, time. Like uh -huh. you're killing it. You just did your, your first show, all this stuff sponsored mm -hmm. by Alfleet. It's like, wow, I'm 22 now. Like a grown man yeah. out of college, like I gotta, I gotta figure Fucking my dad. shit out now. Like <laughs> kids, bills. I just turned twenty seven, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you got five years before you're yeah. even here, bro. There's nah, so yeah, you're, you're young, bro. Yeah. You're, you're young. You're, you're yeah. fine. You're fine. How old are you, LT? I'm twenty five. Twenty five. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I'm, exactly like i'm like the older guy i'm like fucking i'm only 25 it's crazy yeah, everybody's so yeah. everybody's so young out here but it's awesome like i wish i wish i started earlier you know of course but, yeah. but like i'm but still it's still early but like i wish i actually picked up the camera like a few I'm, years I'm even the same way i'm like back in high school i'm like i wish i would have like filmed Eight more videos school, mm -hmm. back in high school yeah. I, no i wish I, grade, like, <laughs> what's up guys i'm in fucking math class <laughs> social <laughs> studies <Sit down. laughs> it's like, oh. that's so funny i, I wish i would have done like day in the life of like high school football player and stuff like that. I uh -huh. i've never seen that before 
I never seen anyone be like in the locker room, like, "Yo, bro, we're yeah. about, bro, we're, we're about, we're about to go out in the field in like ten minutes here. Like, it's yeah. gonna be insane. Fuck, yo, no, that, that, that would have been crazy. That'd be a great bit. Like Friday night lights, like mm-hmm. day in the life. Go like, back to your high school, bro, and go, bro. A, and go and go to practice. Be no, like, I, I did something like that last year. I, I met up with my quarterback <laughs> coach, and we did a whole video. He's at a different school, but we went out there. Uh, it was cool. A bunch of the guys like even knew who I was and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, we did forty yard dashes. I yeah. was throwing passes. smoking. I was throwing passes all these guys. I was running routes and stuff, man. It was it was a lot of fun. Like I That's I fire. still love doing that stuff. Like yeah. we'll get together with all the guys like in you know like my school district and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And we'll run up to the fields and just like yeah. you know do do routes and stuff. Toss it's the like fucking pace game. Dude, it's, 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 it's still so much fun. American, like fucking yeah, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. I've I've been doing that like every every year since because like back in the day we used to like practice or no practice like after practice we'd always be up the field like mm-hmm. throwing around you know running routes just like every single day yeah, like every dope. day so like even once that ended like we still go up there mm-hmm. throw around a little bit. i still like to stay like a little bit athletic if i can oh yeah it's, you know just, I mean? it's just instilled it's part of your life it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah and it, it gets harder like when yeah. you're 240 pounds and it's like <laughs> you know you can't you <laughs> running can't, routes for you can't run the same as you <laughs> used to be able to but um but a mass yeah but it's it's still fun to to keep up with that stuff a little bit too you know that's dope. what's so. what's the the dream collab in social media, not even in fitness necessarily. It could be like a fucking professional quarterback or whatever. Like wh- wh- who would you, who would you love to have on the, on the channel? Dang, I'd have to, I have to think about that a little bit, man. I don't know. I'm, I have a lot of, I have a lot of things like planned out. Like I was trying to even um, see what I wish I would have done. I, I should have collabed with more like Ohio state, like athletes and stuff like mm. that. Um, I was, I was trying to get together with uh, Jimmy Sotos uh, at Ohio State, he plays basketball. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah for the name. You probably, you've probably yeah. seen him, man. He's like, he's very, he's like bigger as an influencer than a basketball mm-hmm. player. Um, but great guy. I was supposed to, you know, do like a one on one against him and stuff yeah, like that. And like, as far, um, I, I'm looking, yeah. I'm trying to do stuff like that where, um, this one guy, Devonte Friga, he's a huge basketball YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Um, he went to Mount Union College, like right by me. I want to do some like do one on one against him and like yeah. just, it's just like <laughs> do stuff like yeah. that. Like, yeah. uh, meet up with some football guys and stuff like, yeah. um. I don't know if there's anyone in in this area that I could do stuff like that with, but just different stuff. Like I said, just trying to separate yeah. myself and like do, do different collabs, you know? Because you it's do like, one with Teron, Teron Beckham, Teron Beckham. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I yeah. I met him at the Arnold. Yeah. Um, super good guy. He's here for a while. That'd yeah. be crazy. Yeah, yeah. That'd he's he's down in Houston. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I, that'd be dope. I I just met him. I know he's training for the XFL or yeah, yeah, whatever. Exactly. Whatever, yeah, whatever he it is. Was yeah. like training to play professional. Yeah. You don't got to train for that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? He's, he's a beast. He's got yeah. like yeah. forty five inch vertical. Like runs yeah. a you know the free same. Do you feel like you have to like uh like re identify like you have to find a new identity now because you you were like oh, a college guy who did this did that. Do you feel like now you're like building a new image for yourself? I mean. I don't think I need to build build a new image because that's kind of always who you know who I was and Mm -hmm. that's kind of who I will be um and but I like the idea of you know still going back to my roots a little bit going to Ohio State sometimes going like I was just down in Florida I want to go to like you know be cool to go out to like University of Alabama or something like mm-hmm. that and like do like a workout there yeah. or something like uh I always talked about like doing like a college tour like yeah. go to go to some different ones yeah. like wow, that would go crazy you know have probably. like a little meet up there and like insane. work out of the campus gyms just yeah. throw around crazy weight and stuff like that oh dude um, that's that's actually that's a, a fucking sick idea, idea. Like I, I saw life. Russ was at like University yeah. of Miami and he was doing he was in like the football like the training weight room yeah. with like mm-hmm. some of these guys like and I was like dang that's like I want to do stuff like that that's too. honestly a really good idea yeah. like because because these guys can connect to you even if they don't know who you are they could just like find your channel and go back to like, yeah. fuck that. This is like yeah. that content's always going to be relatable no matter yeah. what. Be- because I had now, such an impact relatable. on like college, like yeah. fitness content. I, I want to keep that. Uh, like it doesn't have to be everything. Yeah. I was so like, you, I'm, you I'm out of keep college. That col- yeah. You want to keep that in your. Yeah. I, I, your I think yeah. it's always going to be like a, a part of me yeah, and a part yeah, of the bro. channel Hell a little yeah. bit. But like I said, there's different goals and stuff now, like trying to go pro and, um, whatever whatever comes yeah. after that you That's know dope, I, bro. I i don't want to always have to compete necessarily because yeah. like you don't want to always have to like even like uh even like nathan french is funny he like he's like yeah man i literally went straight from whole marathon prep straight into a bodybuilding prep straight mm-hmm. into Ironman prep i'm like yeah i'm like that's crazy uh but he's like he's like yeah i don't always want to be doing something yeah. like that he's like i want to you know build up a little bit and just like you know like be healthy and just yeah. like focus on myself for a little <laughs> yeah. bit, yeah. you know. It's, it's like it's definitely over the line, it, right? Like body, like like yeah. take like going to the gym is healthy, like running is healthy, but do, like Ironman training and bodybuilding yeah. is always not healthy. always like trying to compete in extreme. something and pushing yourself yeah. to, the, to the max. Like yeah. you don't always want to be doing that, yeah. and yeah. you know I feel like I've been doing that a lot. Like the past couple of years, like all right, we're getting ready for collegiate nationals, going on mm-hmm. LSU. Like we're you know trying to be first place in the country, all this yeah. stuff, and it's mm-hmm. it's it's hard. I mean, it's like a lot of fun. It's like yeah. it's you gotta great, ba- it's you gotta great for content, but can't always be like. 
prepping. Yeah. Or yeah. Something. Like obviously yeah. people like sushi and stuff like that. Like they do fine without having to like compete oh, yeah. or anything like that. Like yeah. he, he freaking kills it. And he's, you, you know, that's the thing you find, like you find what you like the lane you want to take, you know what I'm saying? And like yeah. he, he did this, this, this. And now he's like, Hey, no, I'm going to go this route. Like I actually enjoyed this route and I'm going to really focus on that. And yeah. Actually, and I, a, I really like that thing. advice that you gave earlier where you're basically like, I know my, I have my goal right now, which is the show. Mm -hmm. And then when I get there, then I'll figure out what to do next. Yeah, like, yeah. I think that that's really valuable. You know, you don't have to overthink mm -hmm. what's next all the time. As long as yeah. you have that one goal, focus on that, get yeah. that shit done. And then along the way, other things are going to pop up. Yeah. Other things are going to pop up and you can always like divert and go different directions right. and stuff. Like, that. like right. I said, you yeah. know, I could either go pro or not go pro. And then if, if I do, it's like, maybe I, right. maybe I want to take some time off, yeah. take, take some time myself and just like, exactly. you know, do do fitness, do mm -hmm. collabs, and just like have fun with yeah. it. Two, two stack if routes. you stack goals in your mind, then you're gonna lose track of that first one because you were thinking about the fourth one. You know, yeah. so yeah. just yeah. one goal at a time, and exactly. uh, you'll uh, eventually you'll you'll fucking conquer all those goals. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hop in the. We we'll set the live up. Yeah. So at the end of the the podcast, we jump on Instagram live. Okay. And then someone can come on and ask you a question. Gotcha. That's it. Yeah, it sounds good, man. That sounds good to me. Well, yeah. So you training today after this? Mm-hmm. Offline? Yeah, we got a uh, shoulder and bicep day. So mm, the, cool. the split set up by Mr. Alex Toplin himself. So Dude, it's crazy what, training. I know a lot of people say it's a lot of volume, oh, right? A lot of volume crazy training. Crazy high volume. So I, I honestly like I'm using his same split that he gave me last year for prep, but yeah. kind of changing up uh, sets and reps and stuff like yeah. how, so you how, mix, how I You kind of like mix it your own way. Yeah, because I know. I know how I like to train and how I, yeah. you know, my body responds to things. Mm -hmm. So I like the split he has set up, but I'm kind of changing things up yeah. a little bit for myself. He's also learning your body. So I'm sure you guys are more, yeah. the first prep is always like, right, I got to figure you out. But now like he knows yeah. your, your body, what, what works, what doesn't work. Yeah. And he also, he gave me like two powerlifting days. Like he like structured them in my, in See, my split. So, so he, Alex, he, he understands, yeah. he understands what I'm trying to do. You yeah. know what I mean? So like there's two days out of the week where it's literally just a powerlifting day. Yeah. It has nothing to do with bodybuilding prep at all. Dude, fuck yeah. So shout out, cool. shout out Alex Toplin. It's crazy. I've been with him on. for over a year now, and it's like you know he's he's blown up even so much since then. <laughs> yeah, like, a year ago, yeah, he's like, like the face like, of that's, coaching. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like I yeah. I joined him last year, and like I always knew he was a good guy. Mm -hmm. Like I met him when he won summer shredding, like you know three four yeah. years ago or whatever. And uh, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna hit him up, see what he's going yeah, on. Yeah. And and he just like he was so excited about. it. I was like, all right, let's do it. Yeah. And you guys are at, like both athlete athletes. Like, yeah, it's 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 perfect. Bro. And then and then since then, like he's just taken off. He's the homie. Yeah. Insane. All right. Let me get someone in this bitch. What the fuck's that sound? What up, guys? Damn, 30 people. Oh, that 3D cracked me out, bro. The 3D? Yeah, 3D. Still sipping on this rain. Oh, man. I, I mean, get a little sore just sitting here, man. How long have you been with BPN for? Uh, BPN, almost four years now, too. Golly. Almost four years. When I when I joined, it was, uh, I think Russ was the only athlete. Really? So it, w it was funny because I- Russ I, was the first athlete athlete, so too, right? Been. Yeah, I, th I think first so, First athlete yeah. and first BPN. Yeah, and I, I, did, I didn't know much about BPN when I like got with them. Mm -hmm. I just like, I knew who Nick Bear was. I knew he was a YouTuber. Um, <laughs> and I, and I knew deal. Russ, and I was like, all right, like, that sounds like a pretty solid team <laughs> to me. And yeah. so, uh, you know, I, I joined. I was like, That's you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Like, mm -hmm. I know Russ is a credible guy. Nick Bear is a good guy. It's, I mean, that's taken off a lot since yeah. then, too. Good. Match me, yeah. Evan. So. All right, bro. What's up, dude? What's up, what's up, man? Where you at? What, uh, what state are you in? Uh, Tennessee. Oh, shit. First nice, Tennessee. Bro. Yes. Shout out Tennessee. Yeah. All right, you got a question for uh, for Ryan Dangler? So, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Oh, shit, Ryan, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, bro? Man, what's it like lifting at Ohio State? Uh, I mean, it, it was crazy back in the day, man, when we had the, the actual, like, good campus gym open. Like it was, it was insane, dude. We had like it, it was the, like the best campus gym in the country, in my opinion. Then they shut, they shut it down, made it a COVID testing center, though. So <laughs> you were sitting there getting that curls, was, bro. That was <laughs> unfortunate. And and I I got banned from the gyms from at Ohio State, so like I can't even go back there. But at one at one point, dude, it was insane. It was insane. But damn, Wait, what'd you get banned for? Uh, for like filming and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, whole, oh, whole publicity? No, a whole, we don't whole want bunch that. of stuff, man. Yeah, it was. Crazy. It was. Uh, a, a big whole event, man. Was big, you got another question, bro? But. You got another question? Uh huh. What do you got? Nah. I'm good, man. All right, brother. Appreciate you, bro. All Later, right. bro. Enjoy your day. <laughs> yeah. 
he, that first question came out so fast. I thought that was just like a conversation. He's just like, like hanging out. Like, yeah, yeah, how's the gym, bro? Like, how's the gym, bro? Yeah, literally. Tay, so you got you got, uh, you got banned for filming and doing what, like, just yeah, lifting I mean, challenges or something like that. It's it's one of those things where like, it's I fucking, it's fucking stupid. I technically like I technically know yeah I, I broke the rules and stuff like that, but it, it was like, bro, you're when, working. Like, when, that's when, like your job. Yeah, when when the rules are like, just like I don't know when when they're. <laughs> For me, it was like it was hard to follow by because I was going in there to film. They didn't have any yeah, issues with yeah. it, stuff like that. But um, after time, like I don't know, I, I would get reported for things a <laughs> lot, bro. Like my videos would always get reported. Like I wasn't, yeah. you know, I wasn't doing this and that, and yeah. um, oh, like masks and shit. Yeah, like uh, we had a big day in life video that I wasn't wearing a mask in the library clip. Yeah. Um. So I got reported for that, and then. <laughs> Just yeah, I've been reported so many times. Can you I, I, I had to write essays and stuff like that, dude. Like, <laughs> wait, yeah, that was I, your punishment? Yeah, I literally, I literally. <laughs> got, your content so like it's just it's like it's like good content. It's, it's not like you're, content. not you're doing like pranks in the library. You no, know, like, I literally had to go to like a student uh, student conduct like hearing. Oh like, Jesus Christ! And like they brought in all this evidence against me. Hey, listen, like <laughs> if you're out there and you're watching someone else's content and you're reporting for shit like that, like what do you what do you do? Like, is this you benching <laughs> in the gym? <laughs> what do you, what do you yeah, doing? bro, it's me. It was it was kind of it was kind of rough i don't know man it was it was great first two years i basically no issues everyone yeah. loved it too man everyone's loving the content because you make good so. you make good friendly content like yeah. you're just hanging yeah. out with so, your friends lifting like yeah so the the one or two people who like yeah. didn't like it or whatever or like uh, i don't know no nah, fuck them you gotta be like christian just build your own gym well, yeah, yeah, exactly, what was like bro. the number one criticism that you kind of ran into like doing any of this uh number one criticism like, cause you're at a scale at this point, like I, when you get to a certain size, like you're getting people who are like throwing shade or, or hating. Yeah. Or I mean, like, what's it's always been like the natty or not thing. Okay. You know what I mean? Like everyone gets that a little bit, but it's like, um, a, a lot of that got like cleared up when like Greg made a video though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Greg made oh, like, really? the natty or not video. Yeah, dude. Like honestly, like people would be in my comments like, oh, this guy's not natty. And then people would comment back. Oh no, Greg said he, he was natty. Like <laughs> yeah. Greg, Greg verified him. <laughs> Damn. So, the so Greg, like, the check Greg of literally check. people would like back me up because like Greg said, you know, with yeah. this laser vision that yeah. I was, you know, natty. Yeah. That's funny. So man. fuck yeah. Fuck the haters. That's but great. That That's something you, you always kind of get and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But not much Brian Dangler haters. Like, what's there? Hate yeah, about exactly. You, bro? yeah, exactly. It's not much to hate about you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Well, bro, we're really happy to have you here in Houston. Yeah. Looking forward to the content you're creating. And yeah. if you need anything that we can help with, let us Absolutely, know. Absolutely, bro. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate oh, you ask, him ask him the question. Oh, yeah. Ask the question. What is, uh, what is the phrase leaving a legacy mean to you? Leaving a legacy? Um, and what do you want your legacy to be? So I think leaving a legacy uh, for me would just be, um, you know, being able to, like, inspire people you know, further down the road than like, like I said, with my YouTube videos, like mm -hmm. the past six years and whatever, like, uh, leaving a legacy where like people can look back at it and be like, Oh wow. He like, he actually did something special. Like he, mm -hmm. he helped me out in some way, got me into powerlifting, uh, got me into bodybuilding, like, it, you know, inspired me to start lifting in, in college and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think, I think just, uh, Leaving your mark, bro. I, I guess, yeah, I guess just yeah. leaving, leaving a mark with, with what I'm trying to do. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to say like, I'm some sort of like influencer or something like that. Like, I, I think that's a, a word that gets thrown around too much. I'm just like a, a kid out here. You know, I, I, I consider myself a kid from, yeah. uh, from back in the day, just, just post, just posting what YouTube you love, videos, yeah. just trying to, yeah, just literally just trying to show what I can do and show how I can help people, you know, get better at their own thing. And, uh, yeah. you know, what's okay, great bro. about that is that that content that you made in your college days, like through five years from now, it's still going to be relevant. Yeah. That's a, that's a cool thing. Always like, going to be relatable. That is almost Always your legacy. Relatable. Exactly. Right if there. anyone wants to know what a day in the life of Ohio State looks right, like, boom, right. type it up even five, 10 <laughs> yeah. years down the road. Exactly. They'll, they'll be like, oh, that's exactly what it is. Oh, that's yeah. what Fire. the dorms That's one of those like, videos that will always be getting views. Yeah. It will never not be getting views. Like yeah. that's going to, it's going to be, it's, cool spot. it's a legacy. Yeah. yeah. Dope, man. Sweet. Fuck yeah, bro. All right, guys. Well, Thank you for tuning in. If you made it this far, yes, sir. Drop Thank a, you, Ryan. Appreciate you coming on, bro. Yeah, appreciate and, you guys, um, man. That's actually, cool. something we got to start um, doing promoting more. If you're listening to this on Spotify, Apple Music, any of those things that you can leave reviews on, it's really, really yeah. important and really helpful for us to get this out to other people. So do that. Let us know when you do, so we can thank you guys. Appreciate five it. stars. Five and we'll stars. see you guys in episode number twenty-four. Four, yeah. Twenty-four. See you guys. Yeah. All right, peace. See you guys.